Today, we have a 30 minute TBC class, which just stands for total body conditioning. Um, the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna do circuits once again. That's kind of the best way to go through these 20 and 30 minute classes to ensure that we hit um, all the body parts and major muscle groups that we're trying. So for these circuits, um, to give a nice little healthy balance, we are doing an upper body move, a lower body move, and then a cardio move. We're gonna go that through each circuit a couple times and then move on. But um, I say this every week or every time I teach, remember that this class is all about you. Um, if at any time you need to take a second, um, feel free to pause the video, come back to it, what have you. But um, if you have to leave early, please, please, please make sure we cool down. It's very important. Um, and then same with a warm up, right? I take us to the warm up, but if you're doing it on your own, please make sure you don't skip the warm up. And you actually uh, started out with that. But without further ado, we are gonna get it started because it is 12.01. If at any time throughout this class you have any questions, comment um, throughout, and that way um, during a break or something, I can check it out and answer your question. But we're gonna get it started, guys, with a nice little warm up. I have my exercise mat. You are free to use, I say this every week, a towel, a carpet, an area, rug, whatever you want. We're gonna be doing some um, ground work, so it will be helpful to have something just for that little extra cushion, especially if you're on hardwood. So grab a towel if you need to. But let's warm it up. I have a dog. I think you can only see his uh, legs there, but Ranger is joining us today, apparently, passed out in the middle of the floor. But without further ado, we're in that athletic stance. Chest is up, shoulders down and relaxed. We're lifting up those arms, shoulder height, and we're giving ourselves that spinal twist, just gently side to side, waking up our spines. Make sure we engage those abs. Navel towards spine. You guys are probably so sick of me saying that. And it's a nice little reminder because especially as you start doing a move, your mind kind of wanders. So that's my job, right? To kind of reel you back in. Good. Give me a couple of marches right in place. Bring those knees up, warm up those hip flexors. Still keeping those abs engaged. Pump the arms. Warm up the biceps as well. And we add a couple shoulder rolls, activate those deltoids. We're gonna be working those quite a bit today and backwards. There we go. Good. You don't have to go the same pace as me throughout this class. Give me a nice little side tap. Left and right. Working in a different plane of motion. Good, so we're lifting shoulders and closing. So when our legs open, our arms widen, and when they close, arms are down. So once again, you don't have to go the same pace as me, as me throughout this class. Do what feels right to you, for you. All right, ham girl, warm up the hamstrings. Pull those elbows straight back. Here's kind of the side view. So you're warming up your lats as well. Good. Perfect. Nice little easy warm up here. Good. And then we're gonna kind of do a side tap with a shoulder roll. So it's side to side. Perfect. Good. Almost through with this warm up. Hang tight for me here. Four, three, two, one. Good. Free to the side. We're going to do those inchworms as we do every time. We bend it over, we walk it out. We're coming into a plank position. Hold one, Mississippi. Walk it in, stand it up. Keep going. We're going to do four more. This is just a really awesome move to warm up the entire body. Good. Three. Two left. Very nice. Good. 
Good. Last one. And up. Good. All right, guys. So once again, we have three moves for every circuit. An upper body move, lower body, and cardio. We're going to get it started. Our first one is going to be a side lunge, center squat, and then other side lunge. So what it looks like, we want to have some space beside us. We're coming out to the side for a side lunge, keeping knee behind toes, sitting our hips back. Side lunge, center, squat, other side lunge, center squat. Are we ready? Yes? All right, here we go. Three, two, start to your right. Here we go. Side lunge, squat, side lunge. Good, feet are shoulder width for that squat. Good, and the really nice thing about this, we use this outer leg to kick off and come back center. Good. Perfect. So this is nice and easy. Feel our legs do the work. Finish waking them up here. On this side lunge, our toes are pointed straight forward. In the video, it may not look like it because of the angle, but I'm telling everybody so we're all on the same page. So let's point forward. Good. One more each way. So we have side, center, side, finish with a squat, center, very nice, all right. Here it is. We have shoulder push-ups. What does that mean? <laughs> all we're gonna do, almost like we're in a bear crawl, right? We're gonna flatten those hands. We do want to kind of point in our pointers, our index fingers, at a 45 degree angle. So they're not straightforward, they angle a little bit. So we're here, keeping a nice bend in our knees. All we're gonna do is shift our weight on our toes. So our upper body's gonna take most of that weight. And then we're gonna do a shoulder push up, meaning we're gonna go top of the head to the ground and push back up using our shoulders and deltoids, okay? So here we go. Three, two, shift weight forward, and here we go. Down and up, down, up. Good, eight, seven, really use those deltoids. Four, three, two, and one. Good, our cardio move are going to be mountain climbers. So here it is. We're in a plank position, okay? Abs are tight, back is straight. All we're doing is driving that knee in. Nice and slow. You wanna increase intensity, pick up the speed. Option, if you're having a little bit of wrist issues, myself included, you're gonna make a fist into that mat. You may have to do the reps a little bit slower, that's okay, so long as we're moving. Three, two, one, get it up and begin. In and out, abs engaged, back to straight. Good. Almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Slowly stand it up. We're going to move back to that side lunge. Center squat, side lunge. So we're gonna do five each side. Are we ready? My hair's falling out, okay. So right in the middle, we're gonna go to the right first. Three, two, one, here we go. Side lunge, center, good. Side lunge, center, that's one. Good. Two. Very nice. Three. Almost done. Four. One more V. 
feet. Lunge, finish with the squats. Good. Shoulder push-ups. So once again, get into that comfortable position. You can start squatting. Index fingers, 45 degrees pointed inward. We come up, keep those knees bent. We're here, shift that weight forward, and we come down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep going, 4, 3, 2, and one, good, walk it in. Whoops, sorry, knees down. We have those mountain climbers. Again, option flat feet or wrists. Or if you're not feeling being on the ground today, you can you a standing again, okay? Whatever it takes to keep those abs nice and engaged. Three, two, one, get it up and go, in and out. Very nice. Good. Abs are engaged. Almost there, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Relax. Take a second. Whew. How are you doing? Okay. All right. Moving on. Okay, moving on, we are doing a line bicep curl. So this <laughs> actually takes a lot of mind muscle connection, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our own body weight to curl our by to contract our biceps, okay? In addition, we're gonna be working our abs. So we're here, what I want you to do, just bring your shins up to the tabletop. You're going to crunch your upper abs, grab behind your hamstrings, okay? Then keeping chin off chest, what we're going to do, we're going to allow the body weight or the weight of our legs to extend those arms. We're going to tuck our elbows in towards our ribs and squeeze our biceps to bring those knees in. If you need added resistance, all you're going to do is press your legs towards those hands to add a little bit of resistance for those bicep curls. Again, a lot of mind-muscle connection. But so long as you concentrate on actually working these biceps, it's an awesome little bicep curl here. Good, so squeeze. Squeeze, 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 good. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So we're working right here, right? Between elbow and elbow. Squeeze the biceps. Squeeze. Good. So once again, ideally to add resistance, keep going. We want to press our legs into our hand to add resistance to those biceps. And then elbows tucked and we squeeze. Good. Five. Whew. Four. Good. Chin stays off chest. Squeeze the biceps. Two. Good. One, yes, Woo. good job. All right, moving on, we're gonna stand it up. We're gonna do a single leg RDL hop. What that means. So we know what a double leg RDL is, right? Knees are slightly bent, back is straight. We ride our hands down our legs, and then we use our hamstrings and glutes to stand it up right, okay? So single leg, you just bring that one leg back, same thing. We ride down using those hamstrings and glutes, and we stand it back up. That's option one. Let's get it moving just so we're moving. Good, so down, squeeze the hamstrings and glutes, stand it up, very nice. So the idea behind this is to keep our hips nice and square to the ground. So they're both pointed straight forward. A lot of people, as we do RDLs, they tend to open them up, right? Try and keep them nice and square to the ground. Ooh. And squeeze up, okay? 
for a little bit of an added challenge. We come down and we drive that knee in for a hop. Good. Give me five more. Five. Four. Keep that bottom leg knee soft. Two more. And one. Good, relax. So we're only gonna do one leg. And then the next time around we do the other, okay? Our cardio move is going to be a frogger. I'm gonna move my mat. I don't wanna disturb the sleeping puppy. But all we're gonna do, we're in a plank position. Let me tuck in and share it real fast. We're in a plank position. All we're gonna do, keeping our abs engaged, we hop in and back out, okay? When we hop in, very important to note, we're here, we hop in with our knees outside of our elbows, okay? It's an awesome abdominal move and shoulder. Three, two, one, get it up. Here we go. One, two, three, keep going. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, very nice. Back to those seated bicep curls, supine position, legs on tabletop, chin off chest. Crunch those shoulder blades off the mat. Grab behind hamstrings. Press against your arms. Trying to lower our legs. And then once again, contracting those biceps to curl those legs in. Good. Keep those elbows tight. That's how we're working our biceps here. Good. So once again, Add resistance, try and push those heels towards the opposite side of the room while contracting your biceps. Good, really squeeze them. Very nice. Lower back digging in the mat. Mind muscle connection, remember what we're working here. Good. Keep going, feel the burn. A good burn, good burn. <laughs> Give me four, three, come on. Challenge yourself, two, and one, come on. Woo. Slowly stand it up. We're gonna do that opposite leg. Single leg RDL with that knee drive. So, keeping that knee nice and soft, you know, single leg remaining and then left. You may not be able to touch the ground, keeping your back straight, that's okay. Wherever you feel that tension in the hamstring, you come right here, you drive that knee up. Here we go. You may notice you have a little bit better balance on one side versus the other. That's okay. Fun fact, I typically have better balance on my left leg because I was a high jumper and I used to jump off of my left leg. My right leg, not so much, but that's why we're working on it, right? Good. Two more. Last one. All right, and froggers. We're going for 15. Go at your own pace. Are you ready? Remember, we jump those feet outside of our elbows. In three, two, up in plank, and go. 15. Come on. Good. 
slowly stand it up. Very, very nice. Take a second. Grab a drink, towel off. Whew. We have a minute break. Good job. Whew. Do me a favor, keep those feet moving. Bring them down to the mat. Really great job, about 30 more seconds. Here's the deal. We're gonna do a scapular push-up to dolphin pose. So you guys keep breathing, keep moving. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All we're gonna do, we're gonna come down into a kneeling plank. Come on, move up, up, up. We're gonna do a kneeling plank. What we're gonna do, we're gonna squeeze our scapula, so our shoulder blades, back towards each other. Then we round our thoracic spine, so our upper back. And then we push it back into a dolphin pose. So we're in a plank, we squeeze, we round, and we push back into dolphin pose. A little bit more mind-muscle connection. I know I'm challenging you guys this class with that connection. But once you kind of get it and grasp it and feel it, you can do some amazing exercises with it. So here we go, forearm. We're here, we squeeze, we round, we push back. So the top of our head comes to mat, and then straight back. Come forward, squeeze, round, back. Good, eight more, down, up, so what I don't want to see, keep going. I'm not just dropping my hips and coming back up, right? I'm squeezing the shoulder blades, rounding and back up. Good. So we feel this in our upper back and shoulders. Naturally, we're squeezing the abs here. Good, give me three more. Very nice. Breathe through. Good, relax. Very, very nice. All right, to give our shoulders a little bit of a break, we're gonna do UFC squats. So if you don't have the best knees, or you need a little extra padding, like myself, I double up on my mat here. We're gonna do UFC squats. So we're kneeling, you'll notice where your eye level's at right now. Our goal is to keep at that eye level. So, here it is. We lift one leg up, we lift the other up. Eye level changes maybe a few inches. We come down and down. So it's up, up, down, down. Join me when you're ready. Side view, up, up, down, down. Keep going, up, up, Remember what lead you are working with. Good. Whew. Four more. Four. Three. Yes. Two. And one. Good. Then we move to a sit up. We're actually missing the cardio move for this round, but we're running out of time. So here it is. We extend those legs. All we're gonna do is bring a knee in and crunch to that side and back down. Crunch to the other side, back down. Okay, we're gonna go 10 each side. If you would like to increase the challenge, we're gonna come into a hollow hold. Feet at six inches, we crunch, it's 10. Crunch, extend, ready? 10 each way. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, one, chin stays off chest. Two, two, keep going. Come on. Half 
halfway. Five, five, four, squeeze it. Three, three, two more, sway. Last one, one. All right, flip it over. We have those scapular push-ups to dolphin pose. Take a few seconds here to yourself. Whew. All right. We're gonna go through that one more time and then we're cooling it down. Really great job, guys. My hair is sticking to me. Whew. All right. So let me tuck in this shirt. Alrighty. So here it is. Once again, we're in a forearm plank, option to hold it in this forearm plank, right here. We squeeze shoulder blades, round shoulder blades, and then push it back. Top of the head to mat with a straight back. So forearm, squeeze, round, back. We're going for 10. One. Two. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Abs stay nice and tight. And my forearms are slipping on my mat. That's no good. Very nice. Breathe through it. Abs are engaged. Good. Ah, last one. Good. Very, very nice. UFC squats. Again, option to double up that mat. Give yourselves a little bit more cushion. Last time, I started with my left leg. So this time around, I'm starting with the right. Are we ready? Three, two, eye level stays the same. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Come on. Sit those hips back, lead with chest, keep the chest nice and high. Stay low, side view. Up, up, down, down, good. Four, three, good. Last two, push through this. One, yes. We have that ab exercise and we cool it down. Are we ready? Woo. Get ready for those abs. Once again, navel towards spine, keeping our chin off chest. We're gonna go eight each side. Are we ready? Yes, no, maybe, we don't know. Okay, three, extend the legs. One, here we go. One, one. Good. Work those abs. I don't know about you guys. I feel my abs do the work. Keep going. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Work hard. Eight. Let's go for ten. Come on. Finish strong. Nine. Nine and ten. Ten, yes. Lay it down, extend the arms up. Ooh, we made it. Good job, guys. Very, very nice. Please stick around a few minutes to cool it down with me. If you need to bounce off the computer and hop on a Zoom meeting, I just ask that you cool down and stretch on your own, okay? All right, here it is. Slowly sit it up. Hands come behind. Soften those knees. All we're going to do is push that chest out. Nice shoulder stretch and chest opener. The closer your hands are, the deeper the chest stretch. Hold it here. Neck and spine are neutral. 
Very nice. Good. Couple more deep breaths here. Good. Extend those legs nice and wide. With a straight back, I want you to crawl those fingertips forward. Unfortunately, this is as far as I go. Everybody, literally everybody, is different and has our own limit. We have our own limits. So, some of you might be able to touch your forehead to the floor. Good for you. That would be amazing. Just not quite there yet. All right. Take it to one side. Really feel those hamstrings stretch. Again, some may be able to touch chest and knee. I'm not one of those people. If you can, feel free to do so. Make the most of the stretch for you. Good. Center. Inhale. And exhale. Opposite side. Good. Once again, hamstring stretch. Good, so next we're gonna go on all fours, hands and knees. And a lot of people tend to forget to actually stretch their um, wrists, but we are gonna take the time to do so today. So what I want you to do, you're in tabletop position on all fours. Right, back is nice and straight. All you're gonna do, you're gonna point those fingertips towards yourself. So essentially it looks like this. Right here, hold it right here. Man, it looks weird in camera. And then if you can, all I want you to do is slowly sit it back. So side view, this is what we're looking like. Right, fingertips pointed towards me. Some of you might not be able to get those wrists on the ground, that's okay. And all I want you to do is slowly sit it back. Some may only be able to go two inches. Others may be able to sit on their heels. Whatever is available for you. Very nice. Good. Good, and then we're gonna do the opposite of that. So we just had the top of our palm on the mat. This time, when our actual palm on the mat, still have those fingertips face your knees. And then same thing, we're gonna slowly sit it back. Woo. You may need to hang out right here for a second, right? So this is what it looks like. Slowly sitting it back, right? So we're here. And then maybe once you get used to this range of motion, maybe you're able to sit it back a little bit more. You feel this in our forearm. And then once again, if it's available to you, maybe we sit it all the way back. Good. Hold it right here. Whew. We're typing on the computer all day. You don't really realize how tense our forearms are, right? Good, a couple more stretches and we're done. So slowly stand it up, lead with the booty. We're up, pull this forward fold. My feet are about shoulder width apart. Let the neck hang and relax. Good, we feel this in the back of our hamstrings. Really relax that neck. Very nice. Soften those knees, hands on thighs, and give me a slow roll up. Shoulders, we're gonna do one more. Intertwine those fingers, dive it down. Woo! Hold it right here. Good, relax those hands to mat. Maybe we shake our head yes, or not our head yes. Shake our head no. Soften those knees one more time. Hands on thighs, slow roll up. Good, shoulder roll, neck roll. Woo. And one deep breath in. And exhale. 
Really great job today, guys. Um, thank you for joining me on this Thursday grind. Again, this was a 30 minute total body conditioning class. We did take it about five minutes over with a little extra stretching today, but uh, awesome job. A friendly reminder, Monday, um, there will be a Memorial Day workout, obviously to honor uh, our, fall, all our fallen servicemen and women. Um, tune in on Monday, it's from 10 to 11 a.m. But um, other than that, please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next week. Happy Thursday.